I can tell you what I heard. What I heard was support for a chief, support for a police department, and a, uh, a community that is concerned about, about these young people that are, are making just ridiculous decisions on pulling triggers and injuring other people. And there were also people that were not in support of Chief Lackman there last night. Yeah, that's right. I mean, as I said, there's, there was a lot of emotion. A packed room in the council chambers Tuesday night with more than a dozen citizens approaching Columbus City leaders regarding Police Chief Freddie Blackman, the Columbus Police Department, and gun violence. The Fountain City making national headlines just last week following shooting sprees that include nearly a dozen children getting shot in one weekend. But before that public meeting, a private meeting, an executive session taking place between the mayor and city council. Have there been talks between city councilors or you or both to terminate Chief Blackman? You'd have to ask city council. I have not been involved in any of those, any of those uh, conversations. I called all 10 council members. District 10, John House, the only counselor to agree to speak with me. Everybody that spoke last night absolutely had the right to say whatever they wanted to say. And I'm glad that we have the opportunity for citizens to talk to the council. That's a good thing. But I am not going to tell you anything about a potential personnel action. So if you're, if you're going to ask me a question about the chief of police, which is what many of the people last night spoke about, I'm not going to say anything because... I'm just not. Well, I think I heard a, a number of people have a lot of uh, support and, and, uh, and, and are, are behind Chief Blackman and the police department. Uh, I mean, many people stood up saying make sure that the police have the resources they need and, and to let them do their job. Uh, and we also heard, um, I also heard po people coming up that were hurting and that were concerned because they, they've seen violence close to their neighborhoods. And, you know, nobody is, is more concerned or, or really even outraged than, than we are. So much. Well, happening today in the Chattahoochee Valley, a nonprofit called Take This City, bringing different churches together to bring light and resources to five different communities in Columbus and Phoenix City. They call the movement Harvest Day. Starting at 10 this morning, Blake Russell would take the city preaching a message to volunteers before hitting the streets. You're taking a look at one group here going into the LB Stowe neighborhood in Phoenix City, bringing all the fun as you can see, including music, snacks, prizes, and a message to children from Pastor Paul Meacham of Citygate Church in Phoenix City. Another team taking on the River Walk to pass out information about an upcoming event, Revival on the River. Groups also going into East and North Highland neighborhoods. Now, Harvest Day happens once each month. If you'd like to get involved, just visit that website at the bottom of your screen, takethecity.com. As for the next event, Revival on the River, thousands of people expected to come from all walks of life, expected to come together on April 14th. That evening in April aims to celebrate unity among churches of the Tri-City area. And a new business in downtown Auburn that serves unique and fun Korean cuisine had its grand.